Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we are tasting a beer from uh, Artifacts Brewing Company, which is out of San Clemente, California. And the beer is Llama Goat. So please stick around with us. Music! And as I said, this is uh, Llama Goat. And when we saw the can, which I really like the artwork, I was thinking, well, oh, this is a this is a Slayer. <laughs> uh, this is a Slayer beer because we love Slayer. It totally looks like Slayer. Yeah, it's great. It's really cool looking artwork. And I believe it's, it should be available everywhere because we got it here in Tucson. Yep. So you should be able to find uh, Llama Goat wherever uh, you happen to pick up your beers. And it is a 8% alcohol by volume. It's a hazy East Coast style double IPA. So we're real excited to taste this. You might also be able to find it at your local petting zoo. <laughs> so it's, uh, give it a... Give it a little give it, sniffer. Give it a little smell Give it a little there. snifferoo. Which it's uh, very tropical. What do you yeah. think? It is. I think it has a very tropical scent. Uh, <laughs> I snicker about. I'm getting orange peel out of it. Or slight tangerine. I am. Yeah, it, it, it does remind me of some of the orange uh, kind of flavored beers a little bit. Kind of like... Um, Blue Moon-ish? Oh yeah, no, not for me. You have to put an orange in the Blue Moon to even get it to taste like an orange. But it does remind <laughs> me of that type. What, with an orange in there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you go, cheers! Cheers, but it's much better. I mean, Blue Moon is good too, but this is just better on a different, a has different a, level. Has a medium mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. It's uh... It's light though. Yeah, yeah, which it, it an eight, per, well, it's uh, an IPA, double IPA, so it's not that it's, a double IPA yeah, is that what it IPA. said yeah wow this is not like a double IPA no I know yeah it's it doesn't doesn't it's very taste light. like it would be out an eight percent yeah this would be great for sipping outside on a nice mm -hmm. warm day <laughs> what do you have about And just as with the scent, I'm getting those tropical flavors I don't know if I look at this well. can, it'd be nice for <laughs> sipping on a, a warm day in hell. <laughs> I think it's artwork? good. Yeah, yeah, but I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting uh, hints of uh, papaya out of it. Maybe even slight mango. Yeah. And I'm, I'm getting those tangerine flavors as well as I taste it. It's not like a, a you would expect with an IPA. It's not it's piney. Definite, and it's not. It's not piney. It's not like eight percent. That's what kind of flavors? What kind of flavors are you getting out of it? I think I'm tasting yeah. a lot of orange and lemon in this. Yeah, yeah. I get I get slight lemon as well, but also. Uh, it kind of reminds me of an orange Julius. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say on the uh, the tasty meter, which is on the tasty meter of one to five? I would give it a, I'd give it a four point two. Yeah, I would go with a four it's very on this. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. But this was really called a double IPA. Are yeah, you serious? It's a double I can't IPA. read it. <laughs> that is very nice. You know what that? And, and and in a case like this, I think that would be very approachable to somebody who doesn't even like IPAs in general. I think somebody oh, who doesn't yeah, like IPAs sure. would actually like this, and they would then probably get into IPAs. Oh yeah, for sure. This would, this would get them primed up. And Although get then, the door. I mean, I really like this goat beer, <laughs> but <laughs> the, thing, the thing is. It doesn't taste like IPA to me at all, let alone a double. Yeah, it's not. It's not very. It's not. So bitter. if you would give this to someone that doesn't like or never had an IPA, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I like this," and then you give them IPA, they go like, "What?" Because the hops would be overwhelming. I would think this is a really, really different. Very smooth. Like I said, very it's a, it's easy approachable. drinking. Yeah, for a it, cold day in, or a hot day. In <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not very hoppy. Mm -mm. No, but it's 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 really good, real tasty. Really good. And we have to, at some point, when all this mess clears up, and when we go out there to, to Southern California, we're gonna have to go to uh, <laughs> to Artifacts Brewing Company. Yes. And go we want to go to Artifacts for sure. I've always wanted to go there. Oh, now I'll talk with my real voice, my real accent that I'm at so well. And if you like this sort of content, please smash 
that juicy red subscribe button <laughs> and hit the that like button. Big juicy red, big. <laughs> so hang with us through this new year. We'll get through this new year. is gonna be better than the last one. All will be good. We have hope. We we also have beer like this one. Yeah, it's hot. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and don't forget to stay, stay metal. metal! Stick around for the Lama Goat! <laughs> Stick around for the Lama Goat. <laughs>